I'm often asked about my tooth wear program. What does it actually involve? So managing tooth wear is a six month continuum where we build in two weekends of hands-on learning at the beginning and end of the six months, regular monthly webinars or online learning, amazing resources that you can take back to your practice and work with your team, and one-on-one -on -one mentoring to help you work through diagnosis, treatment planning, and potentially delivery of your cases. We start off by differentiating where in the first instance, what's physiologic, what's pathologic, what do different patterns of wear mean? And where do we have crossover? Often erosion is superimposed over other forms of wear. And where do all of the medical comorbidities that many of our patients suffer from overlap with tooth wear? And then there's lifestyle. How do we broach that subject with patients? And how do we screen patients? So I'll give you tools and checklists and cheat sheets that you can use back at the practice. Our new participants often come back after the first weekend saying, I cannot believe how much tooth wear I'm seeing in my practice that I haven't noticed before. It's very easy to overlook tooth wear and, and just park it in the practice and go, I'll, I'll worry about the other things, the primary things that we need to deal with, gum disease and broken teeth, caries. But in severe cases of tooth wear, often there's occlusal breakdown. How do we deal with all of that in terms of planning? We look closely at things like the photography, the video, the scans and models that we need to get, how we start to design within the face. How can we use digital tools to monitor where to know if it's active or not? And how can we use digital case planning to design a case and take it to the mouth for a test drive? Then we get into treatment. We have a raft of materials available these days, hybrids, composites, direct, indirect, ceramics of course, we've got pressable composites, injectables, and now we've got the new range of materials, which are the 3D printed resins. And some of these are now being promoted as definitive restorations. How do we choose the right material? How do we transition the patient where we need to open the vertical dimension? And how do we find it in the first instance? There is so much depth to this program and so much to layer on and taking it back to the practice and implementing it takes time. So that's why it's a six month program. It's why I'm there for one-on-one -on -one support as we work through the program to help you integrate new systems and protocols and bring your team on board.